create by Miss Studio here. Um, over the weekend, we had some new products go on the website. Now, we've been working on these for a while, mainly because we wanted to make sure we knew how to work with them before we um, introduced them into the store. So they're called the hot foil stamps, and these are what they are. They're a, they look like a metal die, but they actually work in the completely opposite way. So it's like a letter press um, that you use with uh, foils. The heat activated foils that we've got for the GoPress and foil machine, which is this guy here. Um, he's busy heating up a hot foil um, stamp. So these are full metal, so they go on this heating pad under here and they he these now this guy's a lot bigger he's more all metal so he will take some time to heat up usually about a minute or so once you put your hand over it and it's really warm it is ready to go so he works well with um the foils now these these foils are five meters per roll so what do i do when i get one i unroll it cut all up the strips and put it in an AVRL pocket so I've got them when I'm ready to go. Now you'll see there's two sides to them. This side, the non-colour foil side, is the side you need to put down over. So basically over the hot foil with the, the foil side up and then you get your piece of card and put down. So now our guy is ready to go open him up, put your foil over him, get a piece of card, down he goes, pops out and into a die cutting machine. Now of course we love our go cut and emboss machine and he just rolls through really, really smoothly. No pressure at all. Now if you want to go back again, you go back again to give it a bit more pressure. And hopefully, <laughs> didn't quite work well. It's really hard to do one handed. But with a lot more pressure, um, you probably need just a little bit of a shim to go in there. But most of the time it works perfectly. But doing it one handed is not so great. But that's the, basically how it works, and this is what happens when it fails. <laughs> but that's, that's basically what it is. As you can see here, that's, that's full pressure, and it's gone in fine. It won't scratch off. That's how, once it's in there, it's in there. Uh, we adore, adore working with these, usually with two hands, and we have a lot more success. Uh, these are our success stories. This was um, just a basil smoothie. It's a really thin card. It's probably about 200 years here. And we find this works the best. So that's just one go on a, a smooth cardstock. Um, this is the 110 pound. I find it doesn't work so well. So that's about as good as it gets on the thicker card. It doesn't like the pressure, I don't think. Um, and here's a few others. That's the... Um, pineapple with the champagne mat on 110 pound as you can see it doesn't quite like the thicker card but it can be done you just need to shimmer it a bit more and this is the card again with the rose gold very pretty and they say smooth card but it also works with texture card look how cool that is Get some great results so it just comes down to what we found was just playing around um, shimming it means just another couple of cardstock bits once you have your um, you have the foil and then a piece of cardstock that you're going to use and then put another piece of cardstock over most of the time that's all it needs um, depending on which die cutting machine you use we love this one this one is the easiest quietest simplest one to use we actually went from a Sizzix to this one and we adore it um, so there's plenty of colors of the foils available we we just we just love these there there's constantly new colors coming out this is a chocolate copper believe it or not and this is also another favorite this is a pink pearl 
it's just beautiful so that's the new go press and foil system the machine which is what we call a platform is 125 um, the hot foil stamps really start from about six dollars to about 17 18 dollars it's depending on how much metals in it so guys like this he's a bit more expensive but he's not too bad that one's about 9.99 um and this guy's he's i think about seven dollars fifty so you can pick up some and as you can see they're going to last a lifetime and not only for foiling letter pressing you can ink these up and letter press there's a lot of different things you can do with them and they also you can foil on paper material ribbons a whole stack of range of things so it's really not just a basic this is one way to use it there's quite a few ways to use it so hopefully you enjoyed a bit of more close-up look at what the the foil stamps look like and how to use them we've got quite a range of designs so we're at keep adding them as they're released um, usually we every every couple of months we have a new release of more stock um, if you have any questions at all leave a comment below we'll leave a link to our blog post about the new release with a video from uh, Art Deco Couture Creations who design these products um, as well as uh, if you've got any questions just leave a comment below and we'll answer it otherwise email us at info at createbymestudio.com and we'll hopefully answer them all thanks so much chat to you later bye